Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another Is This Pistol Still Relevant video. This series has been a lot of fun. I get a lot of opinions and feedback and comments and I appreciate each and every one. So we're going to keep it going. Last week I featured the Beretta PX4 Storm. A lot of people love the PX4 series. This one is very different. It was originally produced for law enforcement, made its way to the civilian market. It's a full-size handgun with 17 round magazines. It has the rotating barrel that softens the shot. Not a bad shooting handgun. It has night sights that are getting pretty dim, but... It's a Type D, and the Type D stands for double action. It's a double action only. So here we have a long, heavy trigger pull with a full reset. And I got a lot of feedback. Once again, they said, by and large, the people said, it's really not that relevant. <laughs> with, with all the options that are available today, that handgun is not relevant. And other people said, I would love to have it. And that's the variety of comments that I get. Some are for it, some are against it. And that's cool. And it gets the thought process moving. But what I have today, I think will also get people thinking. And I bet you haven't thought about this gun in years. And I'm going to cover up the name of it. Do you know what that is? It has aluminum frame, 3.1 inch barrel. And here's what it is. It's a Kimber evo sp sp stands for striker pistol this was the model that replaced the solo kimber said the solo didn't really cut it for a lot of people at that time people loved the small size of the solo what they did not like was the unreliability with certain types of ammo and kimber said they got it right with the evo sp striker pistol with the aluminum frame and about five years ago, when this was produced, single stacks were still a hot item. And this has two single stack magazines, three finger contact, aluminum frame, striker fire pistol with night sights. Not a bad shooting gun. The trigger is a little bit heavy. It's like on the six and a half pound trigger scale on my on my scale so right right between six 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 and a half i would say but overall not a bad handgun kimber still produces this it was originally around 800 850 dollars you can pick this up now well their site says in the mid 600s the question i have is is this still relevant are single stacks still relevant now this drives a firestorm of thought because some people say no you should have the double stacks now why why not offers more capacity and other people say yeah i want the single stack because i'll stick that thing in my pocket because it's thinner and it's easier to carry it has a reversed crown barrel disassembled somewhat like a 1911 it has the trigger tab safety in there cocked striker indicator right there in the back of the slide a polymer grip that is replaceable on an aluminum frame and has interchangeable back straps it comes with another one in the case right in the mid 600 so is this still relevant in today's market is this something that you own do you have a buddy have you ever shot the evo sp i would be interested to know because when it came out People took notice, but they did not like the price. They did not like the price at all. And Kimber does a great job of making handguns look nice. This is the two-tone model. They don't even make this model anymore. They, they have the, the Riptide models that are beautiful looking. Never shot one. But the Evo SP sort of made a, a big hit upon its launch. I've had this for five years now. And the trigger is a bit heavier, seven round mags. Is it still relevant in your eyes or is this irrelevant? It's not relevant compared to what you could get for 600, 650 bucks, somewhere in that range. I would be interested to know if you own it, your thoughts about it, if you think this was a good replacement for the Kimber Solo or if 
the Micro 9 does it for you, or if you're not a Kimber fan at all and say, you know what, it's a Kimber, I'm not interested, or it is a Kimber, I am interested because I like their handguns. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say, and I will be back and let you know what the viewer said about the Kimber Evo SP with the next is this pistol still relevant video. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.